Hello there, Adam Bazaljet here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, never do this one thing when hitting your driver. I teach golf full time. This is the thing I see people do most and it's very destructive. Show you two reasons why it's destructive. Two things that will be big benefits for you if you get it right. And then the 45 degree drill I know will help you towards the end of the video. If you're new to these videos, I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Also hit the little bell there, you'll be notified every time a new video is coming your way. Hope you'll check out the Scratch Golf Academy app as well. It's free to you, lots of stuff that's fun to take to the golf course. Putting tempo, full swing tempo, warm up stuff, green reading. Check it out, I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay, amateur golfer on the left, lady player on the left there. Here's Jessica Corda, obviously pro golfer. Let's look at one of the big differences. Certainly her backswing's a lot longer in this case. Then we'll look at male counterparts. Connecting a line, club to golf ball. Many amateurs go straight towards that golf ball on the way down. Pros don't do that. The club comes down much more than that. It comes much more in this direction and then it starts to make its journey back forward to the golf ball. Let's have a look at a couple of male players. We'll look at an amateur male golfer here and Ricky Fowler. So let's get to the top of the backswing. Clubhead just out of view, but we'll go with that. And amateur golfer, reasonable backswing, very similar look, club to hands at the top, so we'll go there. Here we go straight towards the ball, but not so with Ricky. Club's coming well down under that line before it starts to come around him and onto the golf ball. Okay, in my opinion, the two reasons people do this mostly, number one, just the instinct to hit the golf ball. And when you see something that you want to hit, you are pretty much going to go directly towards it and it just incites the wrong sort of instincts. The other one, and this will factor into the 45 degree later drill later on, and that is lack of arm release, lack of the arms getting extended in the downswing. The arms primarily get the club down, the torso primarily gets the club around and in front of you. Most people it's around as you saw there before they get enough downswing. So what are the two benefits if you do this thing properly, if you get the club where it's supposed to be? Well, it's design of the golf club is really the benefit. Number one, this club design it has a long flat look that way. So if you're swinging down here, this club will sweep a lot more. In other words, you're getting nearer the ground sooner, much more of a sweeping hit. This deal here, chops too much, a lot of poor contact. It costs you, this is number two, tremendous distance as well. The longer you can keep the club back away from the golf ball, the more speed you'll have when you need it. The sooner you push it towards the ball, you shorten the distance between club and ball, you're not going to hit it very far. Let's have a go. Pretty decent shot. Okay, let's briefly clarify something. <clears throat> we are not talking about casting the club to get it down like that. This should be a very dynamic movement, but this arm, this lead arm has to get down, down your rib cage, down the chest. So think of it this way. If you had something like an impact bag, picture the end of a bed or something like that, and you had the club like so, and you had to whack some dust out of it and thrash it really hard, you wouldn't ever do that. It's that same feeling. And as that right arm, that trail arm loads and pushes, it gets this left arm down the body line there, gets it down onto the ground floor. Let's have a go. Yeah, I didn't like that one too much, but felt a little load. Okay, let's look at our drill. Going to show you a couple of things from here, then we'll look very briefly at Sergio Garcia, one of the best drivers in history. Literally, you'll sort of get a feel mentally for what this looks like, and we'll finish with a look from here. So if this is my target line, give or take, 45 degrees to that is going to be about so. So I'm going to go to the top of my backswing. There'll be a tiny bump of my body, but I'm going to let my arms release, not just down, but at 45 degrees backwards. So if I had a huge nail or something sticking out of the ground there, tap, 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 like so, nowhere near the ball. It's a little bit disconcerting if you're not used to it, but here's the big thing, you've got to get over this, if, if you're in this category, this urgency to hit the ball and make solid contact. You may not even make contact the first time. Doesn't matter, you're trying to feel something new. What does the club feel like when it's back there? And avoid also getting part of the way down when you do this drill and then suddenly saying, I've got to go get the ball and reacting to the golf ball. So let's try one here. Let me get up, 45 degrees, pump it a couple of times, 
hit maybe a foot behind it. I don't care, I get a different feeling, that's okay. It will sort itself out as we go. Let's have a look at Sergio. So there's Sergio, look at the great downward start to that downswing. Let's watch from this angle and you really see, in fact, let's put that line up just for a moment. Let's, there it is. You really see that downward movement. Look at his left arm, his lead arm work down the chest and towards the ground there. And with that club way behind him, once it's gotten down there, that's when he can really start to turn into and move into the ball. That's when you see most of the trunk rotation down in that area. Just beautifully, beautifully done. Really one of the great drivers in history. By the way, if you look below this video, there's a link to my Gain 25 Yards course, in-depth three-part video course, one of my favorite courses I've ever made. How to pick up yardage, it's free. Hope you'll check that out. Okay, as we go forward here, what we want to, here's just a couple of last minute keys, just at the end keys for you. Be loose, be free. We've talked about that a little bit, but mix and match. Do some of these where you get your 45, some where you stress the feeling of that elasticity and that load. Somewhere you just hit the thing. Let the genius of the subconscious mind start to blend things together. Just hang out, relax your mind, and have some fun with it. Let me have a little rehearsal there. You can feel that behind me. That was a good one there. Hope, thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps you.